It's been months of debate, demands, and changes to a developer's plan to build hundreds of homes in the Piper Glen neighborhood in South Charlotte. And tonight, City Council is expected to vote to rezone the area. Wow. Stop the presses. Major development next to Piper Glen Golf Course. Developer has gotten the approval to develop over here. A controversial $200 million proposal to build hundreds of homes between Elm Lane and Ray Road in South Charlotte received unanimous approval from City Council the other day, despite pushbacks from tons of the neighbors and the residents of Piper Glen. So the residents packed City Council to oppose the Sutherland project from RK Investors and brought up concerns such as the traffic and environmental matters. Charlotte leaders listened to it but they approved the Piper Glen development plans regardless. So the original plans were for 1,100 homes. The new plan has scaled back construction to combine 566 homes, apartments, and townhomes. The latest plans calls for, you know, the construction of these and making sure that a lot of the green space is also taken care of. So after months of debate, demands, and changes to the developer's plans going back and forth, they are to do now here at the Piper Glen neighborhood of South Charlotte to make sure that on the 53 acres that's between Ray Road, Elm Lane, Bevington Place, Old Course of Piper Glen, along the Four Mile Creek Greenway. So you're thinking about relocating to Charlotte, North Carolina? Well, I've got just the thing for you. My team and I have actually taken the time to create the ultimate relocation guide which is meant to save you hours of research, and I've linked it down below. From top employers, the best hospitals, and a boatload of other things that you need to know before making the move here to Charlotte. The best part is that its guide is 100% free. That's right, you heard me right, 100% free. Just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment. Hope that helps. Look forward to talk to you soon. So ahead of this, you know, expectations, the final approval, they were given the thumbs up to satisfy all the concerns from city council. So with this being said, you know, some of this is also going to be age restricted homes. They looking to make sure that the concerns were held by the residents and the other people in the area to make sure that Ground swelling is not going to occur, hopefully. That the environmental factors, infrastructure, flooding, and the abundance of kids going to the schools, all these things are going to be taken care of. So since then, RK Investments has reduced all the units that they were looking to plan on doing and making it sure that it's going to be in suit for the area. So they're looking to have a decorative retaining wall. They're going to bury the power lines and do lots of sidewalk improvements a CMS bus stop, and so much more. Now for the question of the day. For those of you who are thinking of moving to the Charlotte area, where are you moving from? And what's the main reason why you are leaving? Is it banking or is it manufacturing? Make sure to leave your answer in the comments below. I wanna hear what you have to say. Also, if you have any questions or thoughts, you can leave those comments down below or even text or call or email me or my team, my information should pop up on the screen. The developers rezoning petition also avoided developing in the floodplains and they're looking to set aside the northern part of the site as open space and tree safe area. So before the vote came, you know, the city council credited the developer for making these changes to satisfy the people in the area. So like we said, updates are gonna include transportation upgrades, walking paths that provide a connection to you know, commercial shopping centers and a bridge over Four Mile Creek with access to the Greenway. The developer are also keeping a pond on the property, adding green barriers, so for the major frontage to keep it nice and pretty. Hey guys, it's Mark Weinberg. As much as I love making these videos, there's one thing I love more, and that's helping families and people from all over the U.S. make the move here to Charlotte, North Carolina. I've helped countless families make the move. So whether you're coming over next week, next month, or even next year, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm your guide, let me show you why. 
My contact information is right here and linked in the description in case you missed the on-screen pop-up. I look forward to helping you and your family make the move to Charlotte. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's a benefit or a detriment to have the developer build over this area where the water is here in Piper Glen? So let me know, just out of curiosity. Look forward to catching you soon. Thanks.